Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I took this drawing that I had in my sketchbook and if you follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen me upload it there. If you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Go follow me! I have already traced the drawing on a clean piece of paper. The paper that I'm using is the Expressit blending card. I will have it linked in the description box, so make sure to check that out. So today I wanted to try out something different than the usual stuff that I do. I did not ink this drawing, but went straight ahead and colored it. I do have guidelines from the tracing that I did. Um, if you do have a light table, you can use a red or blue colored pencil, whatever you prefer. At this point, I really didn't know where I was going with this and I really hoped that it would turn out good. Today is a really beautiful day, the sun is shining and it's nice and warm. I always have a good mood when I can see the blue sky, it just makes me feel happy and relaxed. I had a very yummy breakfast. I ate uh, pancakes with apples, cinnamon and uh, honey. It was delicious. And after that I had the greatest mood on earth and wanted to draw this happy girl with very fun colors. Oh, and the sky may be blue, but there are some clouds here and there that take away my sun from time to time. Um, I draw in front of the window with, with the sunlight so you may see the paper getting a bit lighter and then a bit darker. I'm sorry about that. To color in her skin, I'm actually using four colors. Uh, first, I used the E um, quadruple zero. Is it called like that? I don't know. It's double, triple and then quadruple. Anyway, the one with the four zeros. So yeah, I used that and then I used the E triple zero to make some areas a bit darker and do the shading. And then I went in with the E double zero and the E zero two to make those more pinky, darker shades. Not pinky, peachy, darker shades that you see. Okay, so let's move on to the hair. I wanted a cotton candy pink hair as I imagined her as uh, very cute and flirty and I think that soft pink hair would suit her best. The problem I came across is that I only have one pink marker in the shade that I wanted. I tested some others that I have, I only have two others, but those were more peach, but I wanted pink, I didn't want peach. So I was basically working with only one marker. The marker I was using is the RV11. At first I was afraid that it would turn out horrible, but I said to myself that I should try and that I should never be afraid of trying out new things when it comes to art. At the end, it was really not that difficult. As you can see, I work in small sections. I always start at the ends of the hair, where I deposit a lot of ink and then I move to where I want the highlights to be. So at the roots and at the bottom of the hair I was depositing more ink and as I was moving to the highlight I was using a very light hand and I was using flicking motions. That way I have a more darker pink at the ends and on her roots and a lighter pink close to the highlighted area and it kind of looks blended. So it turned into a soft gradient, at least that's what I like to tell myself. Uh, well, I do like the result of the, of the hair. So as you can see me here blending and you can also see the sun, it's getting lighter and darker. It's kind of funny how it turns out. Ugh. That area up there is giving me a little bit of trouble, but um, I can fix that later. I mean, it does look a little bit blotchy because it dried in certain areas and then when I went over it, it just turned into this blotchy mess. Anyway, so as you can see me here, um, still working on the hair, still working on that gradient effect, or at least I'm trying to. 
um, basically what I do is just I just uh, layer and layer it more often at the ends and where I want the darker shade to be. Well, it kind of looks good up to now. It, it looks kind of weird because I don't have the line art, and it was it was very interesting how it looks without the, the line art. I was actually thinking of oh this doesn't look that bad. Maybe I should leave it like that. Just coloring the hair because it kind of looks ghostly. I saw a manga that has like white eyes. No, no, the mouth was white. Like they smiled and the mouth was completely white. That was so weird. I wonder what I would do if I didn't have the highlights. It actually makes it easier to do this method if you do have the highlights to help you because you can just stop at that point and not worry uh, how am I gonna do the rest of the hair, it's gonna dry up and then it will turn blotchy. So moving on to the eyes, I'm just inking them. I actually, at first I was thinking of doing yellow eyes, brownish yellow eyes, more like hazelnut eyes. Anyway, so I was thinking of doing that at first, but for some reason I decided to go with a different color. One that I use quite often in eyes. And that is my favorite color, blue. I just love blue eyes. I wish I had blue eyes. This looks so cute. Well, the eyes need a little bit of uh, work. Again, I didn't know what I was doing, I was just putting in color and I was like, oh yeah, maybe I should put a little bit more here, and a little bit more there, and then a little bit more darker here, and then darker there. Oh, I forgot the iris, oh, let's just put that in. Okay, uh, I don't want to leave the iris blue, let's make it black. Well, that's what I did. I'm not done with the eyes, I, I want to put some lashes, but I'm gonna do that later. Because now I'm going in with a colored pencil and I am basically doing the entire line art with colored pencil. I'm using four different ones, two for the skin and two for the hair. Well, actually one for the hair. I used the second one just a little bit, but for the skin I used... I used two for the skin. You can also use one, but I tried with two to make some areas more peachy. And I'm just doing the line art with the pink colored pencil. It actually looks so cute. I didn't think it would look so good. I didn't even think of doing it with colored pencil. I actually wanted to do it with um, with markers. And the skin with with that Copic sepia color that I have, the multi liner. But then I was like, oh, what the hell? I'm just gonna do it with colored pencil. Maybe it looks better. I also can erase that. Yeah, I left the highlights um, white, um, as you can see, because. It reflects the light and it looks more glowy. Now, when you do this method, um, it does take a little bit more time. Well, it took me more time. Um, and you also need a very sharp point with your colored pencils. Otherwise, your lines will be very thick. I needed to have my pencils very sharp at all times to have very thin, crisp uh, lines for the line art. And then I decided to go a step further and use the same colored pencils that I used for the line art to put in some shadows in the hair because, as I mentioned, I don't have a second pink in the same color family that I could use um, for the shadows. And I have that blotch up there that I hate, so I need to fix that. So I was like, okay, what the hell, I can use a colored pencil, I mean, why not? People do it all the time, I mean, I can do it too, right? 
can't be that hard. It actually makes things easier than blending out with Copic markers. And it does! It is easier blending out the colored pencils than blending out with um, Copic markers from my one-time experience. So you can trust me on that. I mean, I'm an expert. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, I also used the white a lot. My god, I love that white. It just uh, blends the colors so nicely. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using the colored pencil. Um, it's more of a peachy color, but it looks really good with the, with the pink hair. It does suit our W11 great. And just in case you are interested, the colored pencils I'm using are the Karen Dash Luminance pencils. For the hair, I'm using the Anthrac anthracinoid pink number 571 and a tiny bit of the purplish red number 350 and for the skin I'm using the brown ochre 10% number 832 and I'm also using the burned ochre 10% number 872 And for her lashes, I used a black brush pen that I got from Amazon and it was it was very, very cheap. So yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you like it and please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!